trip right now. We're heading down this highway here and we're about to hit Mongagoy. You're going to Mongagoy. Are you open? Here we are, we've driven down here. So we're at this Don Macchiato coffee takeout place and it's right on the highway as you can see in the video. There's the coffee place and we're passing right by here. Hello. You open? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. You have a Spanish latte? Ice caramel. Hello. Ice caramel macchiato. Can you make less uh, sweet? Yes. If you want, we add uh, more coffee, sir. Oh, good. Okay. Wow, very good, thank you. Makano? 39, sir. What? 39 only. 39? Wow. Wait. It's very good. It's good, sir. Very good, yes, I love it. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. It's like a jungle back there. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. I just passed by Biss Lake City, okay? So that's Biss Lake City. Pass by it. I mean, you blink and you pass by it. But uh, I got a subscriber here. What's his name? It's off the top of my head. Uh, anyway, Mr. Mississippi, I call him. Anyway, Mr. Mississippi, I guess I'm not going to meet up with you, but uh, passing by good old Biss Lake. And uh, heading next to some other town. I think it's Katil. Going to Katil next. Man, I swear to God, you just you just blink, you just blink, and you pass by some of these towns. Anyway, it does have a it does have a beautiful boardwalk here. Uh, so it is a beautiful town. Nobody on the boardwalk. But uh, anyway, let's get the hell out of here. We're going down here. We are heading to good old Katil, where Mr. Filipino lives. This is Miss Lake. You just never know. You just never know. Uh, I mean, they're cool. Each one has their own sort of personality to it. Okay. But yeah, this is good old Bislick. Beautiful mountains around here. But I gotta tell you, I'm not that down. I'm not that down with um small towns because there's just you don't have the conveniences that you do with like the because here in this lake there's no signal there's no signal i can't see i can't see on google maps where i'm going google maps works with no signal but it works 10 times better when you got a signal so it's kind of delayed right now so i can't see exactly where i'm supposed to go but that's part of the uh countryside hey, you know when you got when you got um Oh damn, it's not Biss Lake. This is, uh, I love Tabon. This is Tabon. Oh man, it's hot with that helmet on, man. You don't actually, that's the good thing about small towns, you don't actually need a helmet. I'm guessing I gotta go this way because, uh, Catil. It'd be cool if I could, uh, be cool if I could actually stop and ask one. I'm gonna ask that guy over there. My friend, uh... Where are you going, sir? Katil. Katil, sir? Yes, Katil. Okay. This way. This way? Okay. Up here. Oh, I thought oh, it was this way. Hotel. Inside pickup. Oh, it really? Inside pickup. That, that is the aim. Okay, well, okay. good thing I asked my good friend here. Uh -huh. So he said... So we're still in Bislig here. And so we get to... Here's Mongagoy. And you can see there's a Tabon Road. So I think I'm right here. And Tabon Road is that sign to bring me down here. Let's go up this way. Yes. Okay, yes, yes, okay yes. man. You go there. Appreciate it, man. I'm gonna yes. go up this road. Okay, man. Thank you so much. Miss, where can I buy water? Water. Water. Yes. Up, oh, right here. Oh, thank you. Oh my God. It's okay for you, huh? Oh, that's okay, yeah. Thanks. This, what's the city name? Is this Bislig? No. What is it? Agoy. 
Agoy. It's Agoy. You know, I've never seen Philippines in such a beautiful way than when I'm just driving around. I just use my bike. That's all I need. You drive around the Philippines and uh, you're going to see the most beautiful things that you've ever seen in your life. I mean, the main thing about traveling the Philippines isn't the tourist spots. I mean, I'm talking for myself here. It's just driving around the trees. I'm here in the nature, the rivers. I mean, there are, every five minutes you're driving. It's like, wow, look at that. Wow, look at that. I mean, it's... So we were just here and we're coming down here and we are about right here, somewhere around there. It's really beautiful. I mean, hey, we got the great people here of the Philippines. Yeah, it's just beautiful. I freaking, I just love, I just freaking love the Philippines. Yes, we're in small town McGee here. There is a 7-Eleven. I... Yeah, so we were just at the river here, and then uh, I, I came down running out of gas, so I think we stopped in this town here. Let's see, there should be a 7-Eleven in there somewhere. Let's try it. Yes, we are exactly right here right now. Stopped to get a, a gasoline. I don't know what the name of this place is, but it is. Hey, this is small town gasoline. I mean, this is small town McGee. Hello. But uh, as I always say, as I always say, the smaller the town, the smaller the town, the friendlier the people. Thank you so much. Hey, what's the name of this town? Uh, Lingig. Ling Ling. Lingig. Lingig. So just on a bigger map here, you can see we're right here. Okay, we're in Lingig. Thank you. Lingig is the place to be. Well, I just came here to fill up, but uh, thank God there was a gas station here. I was kind of worried about running out and having to use that sort of the gasoline stuff they use at the uh, with the coca-cola bottles i do not want to use that gasoline stuff i'd rather buy locally than from a 7-eleven okay that is the thing i want to do anyway i think we're heading this way i gotta check my phone no i just stopped to check out this beach here so we were just here in linig and then we went down here and uh, we went to this little place here Sort of a small town, nothing. Uh, San Roque, okay, that's cool. So we're in San Roque, and uh, let me put the little man down. We enter this little community here. Where is it? Yeah, see in here? We So I, I pulled in, I went right in here into the beach area. It is a butte! I mean, this is a butane butte. Okay, that's it. I just wanted to check out the beach, stretch the old legs, and uh, I guess we'll go back because uh, there's not a lot. Uh, this is a small town. I forgot. Lingig. I think we're in Lingig. So we're going to go back from uh, Lingig. We are on the way to Katiel. And thank you to these great people for uh, allowing me to come here. But uh, this is a pr pretty much small town Philippines. Hello. And uh, we're going to hit the... And Max, we're going to head out there back to the highway. I don't think there's anything else down there, so we're going to backtrack over there. Anyway, guys, check back with you soon. It's beautiful! Let's head, let's check out good old Faustino. So we just checked out San Roque here, and now we're going to a city called Boston. So we pulled into here, right here, and then we're going to go down this road to the beach. My objective in Boston is to check out the beach, because I saw the beach from the mountain, and it was beautiful. I don't want to check out the actual beach here in Boston. Timmy, where is the beach? Up here. Ooh. I don't know if you can see it guys, but this is beautiful. Look at the trees over there. The break is over there. There's some exotic island over there. And here is good old Boston. Barangay Hall. Not American Boston. The Filipino Boston. It's right here. 
I just wanted to stop in. It's a really cute small town. I passed right by it. I thought, no, I gotta check out Boston because I'll probably never be here again. I honk my horn. I get to the Philippines. You get a wave right back at you. I love to do it. It's hard to time it with the camera because the people come and go when you're on the bike so quickly. Anyways, the journey continues to Katil. We're gonna check out Becoming Filipino. But when I was in the elevator with uh, Kyle, he told me he now lives in Davao, not Katil. But we're just gonna check out Katil anyway. Welcome to Katil. Okay, so we're gonna drive through Katil. So here's where we just were in Boston. And so we came down here and uh, here's Katil. So I guess we're somewhere around right here. Oh, now I don't have a pod with me, so I can't put the pod here because it's out of battery. So I'm gonna sort of pick it up if I see anything. If I don't see anything, I guess I won't pick it up. Anyway, this is what it's like when you're coming into uh, the land of becoming Filipino. It's like this, little duggies. Well, we're gonna go in there and uh, check se check this sucker out. Well, that's it. We just passed it. That is Katil spot. It's going to be Matty, and uh, I think we're gonna actually stop at a hotel in Matty because it's been a hell of a long drive. So we're out of here. Guys, I'm passing by this beach here. Look at the waves here, man. Oh, wow. We're just in the Katil area here, and we came down to about here, Dapnan. We're here at a big, beach. I mean, these waves are freaking big. This is a big beach with big waves. If I wasn't driving right now, I'd stop. I would love nothing more than to get a uh, nice cold sand big here. But uh, we're gonna head to Mati. It's about three hours more driving. I've already been driving for like three hours. And uh, there's one thing I want. By the way, I, I, what I've realized is I can just live off of lattes. I don't even feel hungry. But I'm going to, uh, when we hit Mati, man, when we hit Mati, it's going to be uh, cold beer time. That's all I want. Get to Mati and get a nice cold beer. But look at this. Look at the waves, man. Baganga. This is Baganga, okay? You're all wondering. You were all wondering. What is Baganga? We were just in Dapnan and now we're in this small town, Baganga. Here we go. So we're just right going right through this town here. Like, well, maybe they don't have much here, but they got the beautiful ocean, they got the beautiful beach. Hey, you can't put a cross on Mother Nature. Man, I have new friends. My new friends. When you're driving through the Philippines, you keep coming through these small towns and you see all these interesting characters. Gunga, and we went all the way down now. You can see Hartwell Pharmacy. What town is this in? Seems to be San Ignacio. It's getting dark, and uh, still got a ways to go. Freaking beautiful! But I'm gonna kind of worry because we gotta get to a hotel before uh, it gets too dark. 
anyway, we're going to speed up here. and do So I kept driving and it was uh, eventually it was pitch black and I entered this little village and it was full of Muslims. I mean, it was just obviously there were Muslims. And in this Muslim little village, there was a detour up the mountain. And I'm thinking like, oh my God, what the hell is going on here, right? There was a lineup of bikes. I pull up to this other guy who's riding his bike and I said, um, like, what, what, what the hell's going on here? Is this PNP? And he says to me, he says to me, he says, sliding, he says, sliding. And I'm thinking, oh my God, sliding, right? I don't know what the whole sliding is, but, but it doesn't sound good. And so it turns out what he said was like, there's a long lineup because the detour in the mountain, it's downhill and the bikes are sliding, slipping and sliding. And it, it, it was pretty rough, but the bikes were sliding and I fell down twice on my bike. Uh, but eventually freaking made it to Matty, man. Hey guys, in Matty. Uh, this is the room, 2,000 pesos. My feel as I come here, mind you, I've only been here a few hours. I'm not down with Maddie, and I want to get the hell out of here as quickly as possible. So I just took this hotel room, 2,000 pesos, and um, I'm going to head up to Tegum tomorrow. Yeah, what is it? I'm sleeping. Free breakfast. Dang, cuz. I'll be there in two minutes. Dang, cuz, get a free breakfast at this joint. By the way, love this hotel. It's uh, hot to trot, man. Uh, I'm gonna go down and get a, uh, the local, which I went for dinner last night, and I'm gonna get a free breakfast there. Let's go. This is where I'm saying it's a hotel Rosario. Great hotel, it's about 2000, uh, 2009, which is over the old budge, but uh, you know, we will make an exception. We're going to the local over here because uh, they're gonna give me, apparently, I didn't even know this was part of the Dilio. They're gonna give me a free breakfast over here, so. Screw it, man. This is not this is not a coffee shop they showed on Google Maps, okay? So screw this. Uh, I'm looking at the Google Maps here, man. There's no decent coffee shop. Yet you click it and it's all like just crap. So screw this. I'm gonna go to Tegum now and uh i'll do editing over there man and the philippines it's just filled with beautiful writing like this i mean i love this they're making an effort in the philippines to tar all the highways i can see it happening slowly and it's fantastic it's so easy to ride on compared to the bumpy road beneath this city is messy what the hell are we just exiting or leaving are we exiting or just coming here to Matthew? Hello. Are you guys in line, eh? Are you guys in line? No? Whose drinks are these? Oh, you're doing, so you're first. Okay. Hi, is this 52? 52. Here you go. 52, perfect change. Okay? Thank you so much. Bye bye. Oh. Outside, very hot. I need one more uh, cold drink. Is that right? Thank you. I got out of Maddie's pretty quick uh, I just wasn't feeling Maddie. I'm not down with Maddie. And I'm a follow my heart kind of guy. And my heart was saying, get the hell out of Maddie until then, until then, until then, my good friends, we are off to good old Pagum City. 
Here I am in, uh, I think it's Benai, Benai, I think it is. But uh, we're going to talk to these uh, great, great peeperoonies. Hello. Hello. Good to see you. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, so you guys, uh, you got a nice house here. Would you mind I'm holding the camera? Right. Now, the man in the house, he does not want to be on here. camp. He's holding but the camera. He married a hot baby Rooney. Oh. <laughs> and, uh, but you guys met a long time ago. How long have you known him? Five years. Five years, and you met on a dating website. What was the name? It's just like dating, dating site on Facebook. It's a, okay, it was a Facebook dating site, yes. basically a long time ago, right? Yes, it's a long time ago. Okay, and so um, you were on there. I guess you were really looking hard. You wanted a foreign boyfriend. Actually, no. no. I was just like broken hearted at that moment. Okay, like, so you went on, you were looking for love. Mm, you were looking not for, really, you but... Were, okay, you, you were bored. Yes. You were bored, <laughs> and you were looking for something to do, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, the big man here, he was, uh, hey, were you looking for love? Absolutely. Yeah, okay, he was, <laughs> he was looking for love. You met this man here who's holding the camera, and uh, basically uh, you didn't know at the time this is going to be the love of your life. Yeah, I really don't know. What was your feeling at the beginning you met this man here? Yeah, uh, at the beginning, nothing. I, was, I think like it's like a joke because... When we were chatting like three days before, I said, Oh, I'm gonna get my passport and I'm gonna fly to the Philippines and marry you. I said, Wow, it's just a joke, you know. But suddenly, like, after he got his passport, and then he said, Oh, I got my passport and um, I got ticket going to the Philippines. And I said, What? I think this is really real? Like, I can't, I couldn't believe. And then he sent me money for me him in Manila. Right. Now, what, what year was this, first of all? 2019. 2019. 19, okay. So yeah, I arrive in the Philippines and I had no service. My phone would not connect to Wi Fi in the airport, so I had no communication basis. So there was another foreigner there on his phone. I asked him if I could log into uh, Facebook to chat the woman I was meeting. Uh, so you met in person and then sort of, uh, there must have been some, the beginning week, you know, it's like the, the sort of, the time when yeah. you're getting to know each other in person as opposed to online. So how, how did that go? At first, it was okay. And then, um, well, like, they call this one. I, I like the way he is. Like, okay, and then let's skip some time here. How long was it before you guys actually got married? We met February 14th, and we get married March 28th. So it's just like a month. Wow, but yeah. how long were you talking prior? Just one month. One month talking. You come here, one month you're getting married. Yes. Wait, you're the married kind of guy. <laughs> it's just like three, three days we're chatting. He planned to come here and then you're now, that's it. Uh, you're married. Now, were you able to uh, be self-sufficient when you come here? Financially, no. I didn't do none of my homework or investigation. So I come here, none of my cards would work. I couldn't access any money. The one of the cards I had worked at the mall shopping the grocery store. So me and her would literally walk around the grocery store looking for people with a bunch of stuff in their carts and asking if we can pay with our card and they give us cash. That's how we survived for almost three months until I got all my finances squared away. That's kind of weird. <laughs> That's really <Yeah>. weird. <laughs> but she was beside me the whole time, no matter if I had money or anything. She showed me loyalty and love okay, and okay. it was great. So uh, you met, uh, one month you got married and then, hey, she's got a bun in the oven. How long did it take to get a bun in the oven? Two years. Like two years? Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought you were going to say it right away. Yeah. Oh, it took, I already talked. It took a while. Yes. Oh, okay. No, okay. Really no. Okay. he was trying. He was trying. But, uh, you know, the gods upstairs, they did not allow it. But it, suddenly, what happened? Empty loads. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly, what happened? Well, I have no idea. Yeah, we really don't have Just baby. prayed to the universe for another baby. And it happened. Now, how many babies do you have now? Two here. Two of you. Yes, just two. Two. Yeah. Okay. So now, both girls. Oh, two girls. Yes. Okay, now you have kids from before, you have kids from before, mm. right? You have purchased this house here. And so, uh, can I ask? You got a house here in near Dabao, near Mati, yes. and so this house ran you how much? 32,000 American dollars. Yeah. Okay, or about 1.8 million pesos. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And so, it's a, I mean, you got a garage, you got a house. Yeah, yeah. So how many, how many cars do you have? We have two cars, a trike, 
an RE Baja and two motorcycles. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Okay, so it's beautiful. You got a kid's pool over here. This is beautiful. Now, who's living here? It looks like a neighbor, but the, it goes down to your property. That is Lanny's dad's little apartment. Oh, cool. Okay. Upstairs bamboo okay. apartment. And so, yeah, look, this house here is a... Have you done sort of renovations on this house? We have done nothing uh, to the house. Three bedrooms. Three bedrooms, and you got a you got a pretty big kitchen in there, and so it's okay. Yeah, it's definitely a Western style house. Okay, so basically, let's summarize this. So, you happy living here, this location? Um, we're happy with the house, not specifically the location, but the house. What what brought us uh, here? So okay. you're here basically because your wife is from here. Correct. Okay, and so you settled here, and you, what's your future plan? Future plan is to just live with peace, happiness, and ethics, man, that's it. Sounds good. Uh, do you have other properties around the Philippines? Um, yeah, we got uh, several little lots. A uh, beachfront lot in Zigaboy, a lot in Bohol, Cebu, and Palawan, and Samal Island. And you paid cash and for Maddie. all of these lots? No, we're doing payments on the lots. The only thing we take cash for was the beach lot and this house. Yeah. So, for example, uh, you got land there in, for example, uh, Bohol, okay? Yeah. So, uh, what is, just land, there's no house on the land? No, just bare land. Okay, and then how much are you paying for this land? Uh, monthly payment is uh, 5,000 pesos. Okay, very good. So, it's just land. How many square meters do you have? Uh, it's a 115 square meter lot. Okay, so big enough to build a house on. Definitely. Okay, and so uh, what kind of location is this house? It's five uh, it's, it's 20 minutes from Tabigalaran. How Tabularan, do you say that? The city. Tabularan. Yeah, yeah. 20 minutes, you're north, 20 minutes of the big city. Yes. Okay, okay, sounds mm -hmm. good. Okay, Okay. So, according to my uh, good man here, there is a real hot baby at the working the cashier at the uh, building across the street. So we're just going to go check it out and... Maybe they sell drinks there? Yeah. yeah. I'll get a drink there. Okay, gotta buy a drink. Hey, my good man. Are there drinks here? You sell, I'm so thirsty, I want a drink. Oh, okay, okay, hello girls. Yeah, I know, I will go, I'm just saying hello. I will go over there by myself, okay. Over here, ah, oh, cold drinks. I am down with a Coca-Cola. It's like a grocery store, eh? Makano. 33. 33. Thank you, thank you. No, no bag, it's okay. Ah. I'll drink it right now. Oh, I got so much change, I want to get rid of it. So this is 33, right? It's fine. 33? Thank you. Alrighty, yeah, thank you so much. This is going to really hit the spot. Because, hey, I'm... Oh, uh, do I need the receipt? Thank you. Uh, well, I don't want the receipt. Why? Well, why do I need it? Yeah, nice to meet you guys. No, I'm a... Uh, Traveling tourists. So I'm just meeting many Filipino people. Yes. What well, is everyone Filipino? Yes. Oh, oh, very good. Okay. Uh, okay. Have a nice day. Okay. Bye bye. Subscriber. One of the cities that's nearby the Bow City, but this is not the Bow. Everybody, good people running here. Okay, here I am following Google. Okay, following Google. What do we have? It's uh, like not even a road here. It says road closed. Okay, but um, so we got to find an alternative route to get to the hotel. Okay, guys, I found the happy on the happy days hotel. The hell is there all these trucks here for? Are you the reception? Happy days hotel. You have a space available. Is this the office? Oh, can I go inside? Okay. Oh, thanks. 
Do you have available? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. Uh, like, uh, one room. One room, sir. One room. Just for tonight. Right for tonight. For me. For one night. For one night. For one night. Yeah. Overnight, sir, is 9.50. 9.50? Yes, sir. Is that 12 hours? Oh, yes, sir. Uh, let me see. What time is it now? Four. So that would be 4 a.m. checkout, right? Your checkout tomorrow, sir, will be 12 noon. Oh, really? Yes, okay, I'll take it. 9.50. Yeah. Can I, is it okay if I see the room? Yes, oh, okay. Okay. It looks very new. It looks new. Yeah. Is this the key? The key? Yes. Okay. All right, let's go. Is this parking for the scooters? It's an interesting design. Why are there many trucks here? Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Kind of looks like a movie set here. Can I borrow the Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's a... Wow. Okay. Well, it looks clean. And is there hot water? Yes. yes. Is there aircon? Yeah. Is there Wi-Fi? Yes, sir. Perfect. Okay, I'll take it. I'm sick of driving and I just want to get some food and uh, come back and rest. So this is where I'm going to be living, basically. I mean, it looks very clean. No problemos here. I'm in the Robinson's Mall and I gotta say, this is like the most quiet shopping mall I've ever seen in the Philippines. There's like five people in the entire mall. But uh, we're going to go up one more floor. Apparently the food court's upstairs. I don't see anything happening upstairs. Let's check this sucker out. Food gallery, it looks like it's closed. Man, this mall sucks. Let's go find a restaurant. Hey guys, we're getting the hell out of Tegum, and I know what people are going to say. They're going to say, Scotty boy, you are not in a city long enough to really understand and fully understand that city. But you got to keep in mind here, this trip right now, it's more of a reconnaissance kind of trip where I'm getting a feel, okay? It's all about a feel. It's like if you go to a resort in Hawaii, okay? You're staying at the resort, you get a feel for that resort within the first 10 minutes, you know, you get a feel for it. My heart is saying, my heart is saying, hey, it is time to get the hell out of Dodge because my heart is telling me it's time to go up to Malai Balai and check things out. Hey, if I'm not feeling Tegum, then I'm not feeling Tegum. Maybe someone else is gonna come here and they're gonna love Tegum. Hey, what, what I'm doing on this trip right now around the country is figuring out where exactly I want to come back to, where I want to spend one month, okay? That is the purpose of this trip. If I'm gonna spend a month in every trip now, I'm never going to survive. I'm never gonna make it around the Philippines. I'll be dead before I make it around the Philippines. So this trip, sort of one day, one city, I get a feel for where I wanna be, and then I come back to that city when the whole country's done. Anyway, we're gonna do it together. Right now, the bike is there, and we're going up to Malai Balai. I've, uh, I'm in some uh, small town here, but it's starting to rain. I'll show you outside. Look, too much rain. So I parked in here with this nice man. Thank you. This night, he, he allowed me, he allowed me to park in here to keep out of the rain. So I'm just going to wait for the rain to stop. And then uh, I'll show you this town here. See, filled with uh, really nice people. I don't know how they make money though. There's no uh, town around here, but uh, really cool town, raining too much. So I pulled in here, I'm just gonna keep dry. When the rain stops, I'm gonna go again. I, anyway, this, I got a poncho, but the thing is, I'm not really a poncho wearing kind of guy. Hey buddy. So uh, until then, Pulled over again. There was too much rain. Doesn't seem to bother these other people, but um, I don't know. It's just not fun driving when it's uh, pouring rain out. Now, just as I was leaving from that 
guy, that gentleman who let me uh, stay in his little uh, hut there to escape the rain, just as I was leaving, two guys came in a car and it seemed like they were kind of bad news. And what I think it was, they were debt collectors. They were coming to collect his debt. And I was leaving. I saw the look on the guy's face. He looked kind of worried. Now it crossed my mind to sort of stay there and ask what the debt is and sort of pay it for him. I mean, for all I know, it's 500 pesos, right? I'd, I'd love to pay it for the guy. But in the back of my mind, you know, you got to think quickly in these situations. Look at them. It told me, just don't get involved. Just keep going. But um, I don't know. I kind of like to go back there and ask him what that was about. For all I know, it was his brother-in-law. But he had a worried look on his face. But uh, I, do, uh, I do wish, I don't know. It was a very conflicting moment that I had to think quickly in. Anyway, here I am. It stopped raining again. I think next time it rains, I'm just going to keep going because it keeps raining all the time. I can't keep pulling over. But check out this. Check out where I am. Now, this is a hell of a view. I feel bad. I think I'm in someone's property here, but uh, look at this. That's a house right there. Imagine living there, man. I mean, the house is, is not much to look at, but I mean, you've just got serenity now. You know, it's just peaceful here. You wake up every morning to birds singing. It's beautiful. This is freaking beautiful. You got a lot of these little towns here in the northern parts, in the mountains of, uh, it's called Bukitnan. This is the Bukitnan area, I believe. But there's just all these little towns. And I don't know how they make money. I don't even think they do make money. I think they just make uh, and I think they just sort of live off the land. But they're, but they're dirt poor, man. They are dirt poor, but very, very friendly. You know, one thing I really need is like a mounted 360 camera right here, because I'm telling you, like, I could make an entire channel of just me waving at people and them smiling, waving back. You know, it just happens all the time. We're, we're about to enter another village here. I just wanted to vlog the experience as we go. We're going to check out like real people like it's beautiful number one you got the beautiful mountains here right you got beautiful mountains and then you got these people living in it's just the middle of nowhere like that person there i mean how the hell are they going to make any money right it obviously but um it's just this it, i mean we're in the middle of nowhere we're in the middle of nowhere and i i want to capture because it happens a hundred times a day i want to capture me waving, you know, at the uh, local people and them, you know, waving back. It's just such a good feeling. Oh, we're passing by some more friendly people up here. Guys, what, what happens uh, a lot when you're in these mountain villages is you'll have kids sort of on the side begging. So you'll stop. And I stopped uh, once and um, you know, they're begging for, you know what they're begging for? They're not begging for money, they're begging for rice, okay? And so I only had money on me, I gave 100 pesos or whatever. They, they take the 100 pesos, but what they really want is rice. And so if I come back this way, and if you want to help, if you want to help them, I recommend if you want to come this way, hey, this is great up here, man. Everyone's so friendly, but I recommend bring sort of sachets of rice, okay? Sachets of rice. What they really need up here, what they have a hard time getting is rice, okay? So great people, awesome people up there. Great people. And you get a hundred little, little villages like this. You got a hundred, you got a hundred of these little villages. Bring sacks of rice with you if you can. Maybe put them in a Ziploc bag or something. Give it out to them. That's really what they want, is just freaking rice. Okay, stopped again. Due to rain, you can see where I am on the map. Okay, there's Valencia there. The green up there, that's where we're going. That's Malaybalay, there's Valencia. We're here in the middle of nowhere. San Fernando, I guess. San Fernando, some little uh, Mahayag. Okay, we're in Mahayag. As you can see, it is nothing here, nothing here, but it is beautiful. I mean, I gotta tell you that much. It is a beaut. I mean, as far as nature goes, it is peaceful here.
Turn the Afternoon. Hey guys. Wow, that's ice cold, man. Oh, you do? Thank you. Oh, do you want two? One, two. Thank you very much. You're very kind. Soft, sweet bread. Yeah. Cheesy mamon. That this cheesy mamon is it soft? Yes. It's soft. Okay. Can I get one cheesy mamon? Okay. Ooh, very nice. Coffee man? Hey, can I have a Spanish latte? Yeah, sorry. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Guys, we're in Malaybalay. Somebody told me the coffee wagon. Can you see? The coffee wagon. Okay, you can see? Okay. Well, where the hell's the coffee wagon? It's some um, building here. There's no freaking coffee wagon here, man. Nathan, what the hell are you talking about? Oh, there it is. Freaking coffee wagon. It looks like a house. So we're going to go in that coffee wagon. Apparently it has, there is the best Wi-Fi in town. I don't even think it's open though, but um, I'm going to go and uh, check out the coffee wag.